Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need a piece of foam, leftover foam, a circle of the top of our planter and one the size of the bottom of our planter, a planter, any pot will do, a sponge brush, a dowel, I'm using a piece of a mop, how that's called? Stick. <laughs> Antique wax, burnt umber and the mix of leftover floral from last year and the year before. A round circle ball, foam ball, <laughs> a, a skewer, yeah, the skewer. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our foam ball. Yeah, now I know the name. <laughs> we're gonna paint our foam ball using the burnt umber. And we're gonna cover completely but you don't have to do such a good coat, you, that's just because if something shows you don't want it to look white, you want it to look brown. And now we let it dry and we're gonna take our dowel and we're gonna stain it using the antique wax. If you like what you see here and you like modern farmhouse, boho decor, couple of silly jokes and seasonal decor, <laughs> subscribe because that's what I do here. <laughs> As you can see, I cannot even remember my words. <laughs> And after you stain it, we're gonna let it dry completely and then we're gonna move on to assembling our topiary. The ball of the topiary, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and using the dowel, I'm just marking the bottom part like that to know where I shouldn't be adding flowers. First, we're gonna take all of our leaves and uh, now that I have them separate, <laughs> I'm gonna start adding my leaves to my ball and for that I'm cutting a little bit of the stem and then I'm inserting them on my ball. Yes, just like that. You insert them on the ball however you want them. This is to your liking. You just go around and try to add as many as you want. This is how it's looking. Now I'm gonna move on to the flowers and for that I'm taking off a little bit of that stem also and adding them all around my foam ball and I'm gonna say foam ball like too many times <laughs> I couldn't remember the name and now I know it <laughs> and then this is how it's looking and now I'm gonna move on to the those are berries <laughs> see you see I don't know what's going on I'm moving on to my berries and I'm adding all the berries to my arrangement just like that and this is how it's looking and now what I'm gonna move on, it's to all the embellishments like greenery, the cute pumpkin stem I have. It's a stem, it's a bosch, it's, it's something like that. It's a pick. <laughs> and we're gonna start adding all of that to our arrangement like that. Moving around our foam ball so we can get some of that on each and every side. So it looks some sort like Cohesive? Yeah, I think that's the best word to describe it. Now I'm adding the pompon thingies and now I'm gonna move on to those berries from last year from Walmart and I'm gonna add, add them on the top, on the sides and on the front and I continue playing with it as you can see here. Remember, floral arrangements are to your liking. You add whatever you want, however you want, you just move them around and look for the best place to put them. This is what you like. And now I'm gonna add that pick to the front. I found that last year at Walmart and I love it. And now I'm adding some pine cones all around my arrangement or my topiary ball. Now it's topiary ball, yay! <laughs> and we continue adding. I have a bold spot there and I'm adding a flower and that will be it. This is part of the Pinterest inspired DIY challenge and this is hosted by Sonia from Domestic Diva DIY. She also has a cooking channel, that's Domestic Diva Cooking. And the other one is Domestic Diva Home. I'm gonna leave you in the description box down below the links for all her channels and also for the playlist for today's challenge. Go there and visit everyone and visit Domestic Diva. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach 
that foams, the smaller one, to the bottom of our planter. And for that, I'm adding lots of hot glue in the middle and on the sides and just sticking it there. Now I'm taking my dowel and I'm just poking that dowel in the planter to make an indentation. And now I'm gonna add hot glue and glue my dowel. And now I'm just adding the pieces, the leftover pieces of foam all around my dowel like that to make it sturdy and also for the floral to have something to grab onto we're gonna continue adding them and now i'm gonna add the center or the top <laughs> yeah the top is not the center <laughs> the top for our planter and that we're gonna paint it using burnt umber we're gonna paint it all around cover everything up just like that and we, when we, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm thinking too fast, talking too slow. <laughs> and when we have it all painted and dried, like that, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna start adding our floral. And we're gonna start adding our leaves first, like we did on the top, our leaves first, and then we're gonna move on to the flowers. So you can see, I'm adding now the flowers. We're gonna add the flowers, and after we finish with that, we're gonna start adding all the embellishments we want. You can add anything you have at home. Remember, this is just to reuse all of that fall floral we have from past years, last year, day, be day, 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 no, <laughs> the year before. <laughs> it's not the day before. <laughs> and we're gonna continue adding all of that like that so you see me here and i'm adding now some grass over there a little bit there and we're going to continue adding all of those floral i'm adding cotton also i'm going to add some eucalyptus and i'm going to add a little bit of greenery over here and some berries and when we have all of it full then we're gonna move on to attaching our topiary to our topiary, yes, <laughs> to the dowel. <laughs> and now I'm adding a little bit more that I have left over. And this is how it's looking. Just like that. And now I'm adding my eucalyptus. And this one, it's a bit hard to cut. So if you see me struggling, that's why. <laughs> and I'm struggling now. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while, while I cut that. But after I cut it, I'm gonna place it all around my arrangement. This is just playing with flowers. You have to look where you want them, play with them until you achieve the look that you're looking for. There's nothing better than that. There's nothing that works better than that. You just play with them and get them where you want them. And now I'm just placing my last flowers or eucalyptus, playing around with my arrangement so I can move on to attaching my top like that using lots of hot glue. And now I'm gonna glue it to the bottom. There's mine versus the Pinterest one. Let me know how I did in the comments below. And this is how it's looking. As you can see, we have over here the planner I had to use because I couldn't find an urn. But this is how it's looking. I love how this turned out. Look at that, it's beautiful. And I could reuse all of my fall floral that I had here at home, and I love that. <laughs> And remember, if you like modern farmhouse, boho decor, a couple of silly jokes, they cannot be left out of my videos. <laughs> and if you like fall decor and seasonal decor, subscribe because that's what I do here. <laughs> and remember also to go to the playlist and check out everyone else and everything that they came up for this challenge. And to go to Sonia's channels because you will love her and love all of her channels. And remember, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.